It's another day for science. I am your professor, RSK. You can call me Prof. RSK for short. Today we are discussing compounds. What is a compound? A compound is a chemical combination of two or more elements. Yes, it is the chemical combination of two or more elements. Elements can be com combined um, to form compounds by chemical means. So we're going to look at the strategies to combine two or more elements. It's going to be very simple, so follow me even as we go to what we want to do for today. So this is our first compound, sodium chloride. We first have to know how to write it. So we're going to learn how to write sodium chloride. And sodium chloride is a very simple compound that is available. There's common salt. Salt, yes, yeah, salt. The one that we use to prepare our stew, stew you know, salt, yes. Yeah. That is sodium chloride. Now, for us to write this compound, first we need to write the element sodium. And sodium is Na, you remember? First 20 element, sodium. And then chlorine, Cl. All right. So, sodium and then chlorine, yes. But how did we get the name chloride? Now, everybody that, you know, goes into marriage, they, especially the ladies, they change their names and then they adapt their, uh, their man's name. You know, so I can just compare them. On a lighter note, that is how it is. But chlorine is going to change into chloride by the addition of ide. IDE. So all the um, elements that are negative, they are negatively charged, as in they give out their outermost electrons, they change their names to I. So oxygen becomes oxide. Okay? We'll do more of this in our subsequent lesson, and then you will get to understand. So chlorine and then sodium here. Now let's look at the atomic number for sodium is 11 and then chlorine is 17. We look at our valency. Our valency for sodium is 2, 8, 1. And then chlorine is 2, 8, 7. Alright. So here we want to, our electron configuration is written. We want to know our valencies. You remember that in our subsequent class, we discussed that when the valency is more than 4, we subtract it. So, for us to find our valency from our electron configuration, this is 8 minus 7, which is giving us 1. So, our valency here is 1. And then here, our valency, say, for is 1. So, um, sodium has a valency of 1, and then chlorine has a valency of 1. If you want to easily get a compound, then you cross multiply. So we are going to do some small um, analysis of what is going to happen. So sodium here and chlorine there. Now this one is going to cross and this one is also going to cross down. Okay, um, I'm going to do uh, another one so you, you get it more clear. So sodium here, the valency is 1. Chlorine here, now the valency is 1. Because it is 1, 1, you don't have to write it, you just maintain it like that. So, sodium chloride is NaCl, having a valency of 1 and then a valency of 1. Alright, so let's look at aluminium chloride as our second example, and then we go through. So, aluminium, the symbol, chemical symbol, aluminium is this, it has atomic number of 13. And then chlorine, as we know, atomic number 17. Alright, electron configuration, let me call it EC, not, elect, not the AC you know, but let me just put it here so that you get it. So we have 2, 8, 3. Let me use commas. Okay, 2, 8, 3. And then we have 2, 8, 7. Right, 2, 8, 7. So this is our electron configuration. We can find our valencies from our electron configuration here. It satisfies the first rule. So our valency, our valency is 3. 
And then here our valency 8 minus 7 equals 1. So here the valency is 1. So aluminium has a valency of 3. It's plus. And then chlorine here has a valency 1. Now forget about um, the plus and minus for now so that you don't get confused. Just put the valency there. 3 and then 1. Then you cross multiply or not cross multiply but you just cross it so aluminium here has a valency of one the one here comes down to aluminium and then the three here comes down to chlorine so three so if we are writing it well now we have a l the valency is one c l three aluminium chloride